I don't know how anyone could look at, at the situation in Congress with the 48 solid Democratic votes and the two rogue. One of them is is doing what's called electoral you know, um, utility maximization because uh, Joe Manchin is a Democrat serving in a Trump state. It went for Trump by 35 points. So when you think about what that means, his electorate is like 70 percent Republican. OK, and he's a Democrat and he has to win statewide. So he's not facing a gerrymandered district. He's facing not only a competitive district, he's facing the opposite. He's like the only politician on our side right now that needs meaningful opposition party votes to win. Send him as a different story. Right. And when you look at the leverage points to, to pressure these two, they're just very, very finite. There's not you. Can, what are you going to do? Jack their committee chairs. Um, you know, anything that you do could push them out of the majority. And Judge Kentanya, uh Brown Jackson would not be sitting on the Supreme Court today if it was not for those two votes, Manchin and Cinema. So they are still better than not having them. And, uh, you know, it's important, I think, to recognize the system is not designed for change. So let's just pretend for a second. Same scenario, same Senate, same people, not Joe Biden. It's Bernie Sanders. OK. What would what would he be able to do in terms of getting the filibuster nuked or legislation passed, given the scenario with Manchin and Cinema that Joe Biden could not do? And I mean, I'm not asking in a rhetorical way. No, asking, and, I, and let me say before he does this. No, 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 no. Rachel summoned me. She wants to hear what I have to say. So I'm going to talk to her and I'm going to let her know exactly what I would have done. Besides my good friend, Joe, I understand that people are frustrated right now, but if I was president of the United States, here, sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, if I was president of the United States, there's a number of things that I would do. Number one, I would definitely cancel student debt. And the reason I would cancel student debt is because we need to make public colleges and universities and trade schools tuition free so we can come to a 21st century economy that people are making living wages having health care, universal health care, which is what we're fighting for. Now, I know during the pandemic, I could have expanded Medicare to everybody because it is in the Social Security Act clause. We can expand it to everybody during a national health care emergency. We would have done that. Now, of course, canceling student debt would also increase people's ability to expand the economy because they're not taken down by so much debt. So that is two things I would have done. I also would have declared a national emergency and employed the Defense Production Act so we could start building a clean energy grid. We need solar fields, wind farms, geothermal plants, hydro plants, all types of plants. That we are need producing plants, and you would also <laughs> legalize and you would legalize cannabis. And you I would... definitely would. Well, listen, I don't participate, and that's okay. But I would definitely legalize cannabis. There is no reason. Or decriminalize cannabis. Decriminalize right. cannabis. I could do that. I cannot legalize it, but I could decriminalize and it. Can that be done by uh, EO executive order? Executive and not only order. that, but he could also be expunging and commuting. 2,700 people that are incarcerated in federal prison right now on nonviolent marijuana offenses. It's, and I definitely would do that because, let's face it, we have a for-profit prison industrial complex. We should not have that. What we should have is a fair and equitable corrections justice system. People should be becoming better people if they have to go away, not worse people when they go away. There's a, too much of a profit motive in incarceration in this country. But that aside, he could absolutely pardon and expunge 2,700 currently in the federal system. That's a lot of families whose lives have been completely destroyed for nonviolent marijuana offenses. Oh, oh, yeah, you I don't have going. to tell me, dude. I, if I had it my fucking way, <laughs> and I'm still working on this, would be running a national wedge campaign to make sure America's pot smokers know this one basic fucking fact, which they don't know. We think that they know, but they don't know. And that is, if you like pot, vote for Democrats. Okay? <laughs> pot, Democrats, Democrats, pot. We have 10% of the Florida electorate in their split ticketing, pro-pot and DeSantis. It should just never fucking happen. It's messaging malpractice. 
By the time Democrats get their shit together on pot, the entire Republican Party will be running on legalization, okay? I mean, if I was the Republican Party and I, other than fascist crackdown, steal everybody's right to vote and put poll armies into the election headquarters, my theory to, to, to steal voters would have been what they're doing right now with non-white voters already, brand busting them and making them fearful of us, and number two, wedge issuing pot. There's, you know, millions of people out there who have no idea that there's a connection between the Republican Party and people going to jail for pot, and we really need to make that clear. And I would make that clear if I was president of the United States. But unfortunately, my good friend Joe is, and I'm the head of the Senate Budget Committee. But that's an important role. That does make a difference. So just <laughs> wanted to let you know, uh, if you had any more questions, uh, I thought I would come by and let you know. So hope you enjoy. <laughs> nice to meet you. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.